I'm making another monster cake and this time I'm stacking up layers of vanilla cake and then I did a final coat of chocolate ganache and once that sets I can add the fondant and because I want this to look like a cartoon I'm making a very simple face but I gave it personality by making it weak. So I'm adding the last details like the white specks in his eyes, the nose and of course this is a vampire so I had to add the fangs. And that's it for the cartoon side of this cake but there is a realistic side and for this side I use modeling chocolate. And whenever I'm making a face I always start with the nose first and then once that's detail I move on to other areas like the mouth and adding folds in his skin for expression. So I molded this cake so that his mouth would be open so he could show his teeth and his fangs. And once all the sculpting was done, I can now paint the cake. So I'm using an edible oil paint and I'm coloring the skin gray, coloring the eyes and the teeth white, and then detailing the eyes with red and black paint. Next, I colored the lips a dark gray, and then I could finally add the fangs. And the last step was to shade in certain areas of his face so that I can give it depth. And that makes this vampire cake complete. So which side do you like best? The cartoon side or the more realistic side?